Yeah, is there any music yet? Nope. But yeah, this is like... Very creepy, it's just like... Yeah. End it, of the world. It does what it needs to do really well. Oh, this is basically the Dive to the Heart theme. Yep, the battle theme I think is the Dive to the Heart theme. It, battle theme. It's more, yeah, it's, more, it's like a uh, full version. Yeah. What's gonna happen to this place? And to us? Look at that harp. Yeah, like this. That's the reason why this place doesn't come back in the other games. But no worries. Even if this place goes poof, our hearts ain't going nowhere. Mm. I think Goofy can still stay optimistic for all this. <laughs> I just know that we will. <laughs> well, it's kind of just his character, I guess. Yeah. Yep. You're right. Yep. Smiley. I'll return this. I promise. Oh, not for a while. <laughs> We've got... Seriously, that's not gonna be for another two games. Oh, what? What? Oh, we haven't I even don't... read Ansem's reports yet. I don't know what that was, though. Anyways, I don't... Um, the gimmick with this part of the world is that it's gonna keep... It's gonna... In the, those things starting from the sky are actually gonna be heartless fights. Yep. They can... I think they drop at ran... I think they can hit you at random. Yeah. But... Hey, I'm not complaining because this is one of my favorite battle themes in 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 the game, or the entire series actually. Oh yeah, you can't open that cheese chest. It's stay near that. Uh, the thing is, you want to pay attention. Right. Because when it comes back. Oh, nice. Want to follow those arrows? But yeah, that battle theme is easily one of one of my favorites in the entire series. Some of them do this though. Yeah. But now we're getting into the into the more aggressive heartless again. The angel stars, yeah. the angel stars, and invisibles in thrive here. And we'll uh, be fighting some be behemoths later on. Yep. Oh, I just remembered something. Like, we need to remember to equip the. Um, we might need to put on Sora's Omega Arts later. Hmm. The one we got from that be. Oh, Gale. Gale. Uh, that's something we need. That's an ingredient we need for uh, for uh, ma for making some of our last items. Okay. Yeah, we may as well get Ultima at this point. Pretty stone. There are invisible walls that you can only see when you're in the fights. Right. Regular chest. Boom. Nope. Spirit I think bomb. This is a yep. And we still haven't got our Psychanemon. <laughs> oh, we took our training limit, right? Yeah. Good. I but believe so, anyway. New, at least this guy has a new trick. I'm pretty sure we did, anyway. I still have the main theme on, because I love it. Mm. It does its job amazingly well. Yeah. Like, it's like, this is the, this is the kind of place you really don't want to be. Yeah. I also love the singing. Yeah, the, the choir or whatever. Yeah. Keep That's the camera the... around. So look on the way, next way, because you might see a chest too. Right. Oh, I see one. Stand. Yeah, stand there. It's... What did we get from that? Uh, mithril. All right. You keep getting spirit bombed. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it looks like, I'm sorry. All right. I don't get this very long... I guess this long load here is just to... Um, so you know where you're going. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, I guess. Well, I guess on the PS2 it might have something to do with the actual console, but... I don't know. One of these might, one of these chests might take a moment to get to, though. Mm. But typically where it's pointed, pointed is the way you want to go. Yeah. Boom. Even if it has these spirit bombs. 
Hey, experience. Yeah, right. And awesome music. This is one of your. Hey, well, you. I remember you actually saying that. Well, actually, is it the exact same battle from the beginning of the game? Uh, I think. I think it's just extended. Well, it's called Fragments of Sorrow. Yeah. And there was a there was this uh, comment that someone made that was actually kind of cool about it. What is, I've, oh I've, yeah. Yeah, you show you me it. it. I forgot what uh, it actually said. Let's see if I can find it. Mm -hmm. What's this? There's a bit here. Oh, there's a bit right here. It's kind of interesting here. Playing on the theme. Yeah. Dear journal, I found I found my keyboard wielder. He is the boy living on those tiny islands of, in, that the pure-hearted girl drifted to. He is very much like me. He too wishes to escape that prison of a world to see what is yet unknown to him. All I must do now is set him on a path, one that will plant seeds of darkness in his already withdrawn heart. The vessel I took from Terra should be in working to secure 13 empty seats for me. This boy, I know I'm doing dream drop this talk here. Pretty yeah. much, but I'm gonna keep reading, right? Wait, what, this, what is this? This is a different kind of thing on the video, I think. Right. Hold on. This boy would be perfect for one of them. And yet, I am uneasy. Not only do I have the strange urge to reject my name in favor of Ansem, but I met another boy that causes concern. He is ignorant, childish, the opposite of my chosen in every way. Why then? that I bothered to reveal myself to him. Why do I care whether he succeeds in going out and learning what's outside his world when he doesn't have the same drive towards the end, towards that end as the ever boy? Could there be still secrets that my own heart continues to hide from me? Huh. Surprise us, is, is that just some random comment or is that actually like... I don't know. Cause that sounds like it would be in the game. I so, think it may have been a comment that was made, hmm. but that, that that's a really good one. Yeah, that... You, you know you're doing something right when you write something that sounds like it actually is in a game. Oh, no, 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 I think it is something. Because, like, whenever comments saying, and, and, like, a crazy part of Anthony's speech is where he says, and so this boy, maybe describing what you know? Yeah. Did you get all the treasures in that room? Uh, I missed one. We'll have to go back for that later, then. Well, is it important? It might. For all we know, it could be our Ori Calcum. True. Oh, that sucks. But yeah, this absolutely craps on Sonic 06's end of the world. Like, uh, it does. It's this a, is what it should do. It's a similar idea, but this just does it so much better. I'm gonna never comment here. You know, listen to this mate Juan. I'm actually gonna reset the song just because I want to. <laughs> it says, you know, listen to this made me think. What if? After all that we have gone through, no matter how many times we stop him, no matter how many of his mistakes we undo, Xehanort won. What if Xehanort succeeded in his plans? What if Zay Ansem, in which is his heartless, was right yep. from the start? What if? Just what if all that we have accomplished in Kingdom Hearts all for nothing and all the worlds were engulfed in darkness as you just hear Anthem's voice as everything is consumed. That is a, meaning, yeah. a meaningless effort. Every light shall fade and every heart will, will come from whence it came darkness. You know, that is actually, yeah, because like all the, in a lot of respects, Xenor has won a lot, a lot from a lot of these games because he... Burp by, er, burp by sleep especially. Yeah. He got the vessel he needed. Yeah, and then, I mean, even though Sora stopped uh, his heartless and nobody's plans in one and two, respectively, but from that he uh, managed to reform because of how that works. So, right. and you see how close they, how close like they were to making Sora a vessel. Like that was scary. Right. Also, um, if I may. Yeah. Um. When we read, I, mean, I suggest we read all the giant, all the answer reports right at the final door. Okay. Because it says here, reading all answer reports with this music gets me in a number, you know? I 
can understand that, yeah. Because this is the most fitting place to do it. Wait, is that you saying that or a comment? Me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. Also, it says here, someone here says like, uh, it almost sounds, it's just like, I'm sure I'm not the first to notice this, but it almost sounds like the chimes in the background are going to the tune of Dearly Beloved. Hmm. Uh, that would make sense. Alright, uh... Let's turn off chair. Yo, wait, is it coming up? What? Isn't there a boss coming up? I don't know. Oh, wait, yeah, right down here is a, oh, there's a, well, I know there's some gummies in this room, like in that chest over there. Right. Yeah, we got an ultimate Look, this gummy. This room is full of gummies. Right. Which are all inevitably pointless. Yeah. But your treasures. Oh, a full life gummy. Yep. Oh. Okay, we made it. Remember one uh, comment saying, what is it about this music that makes everybody poets? <laughs> Oh, oh, we're getting, oh, this part. Ah! Uh, the room. That's the way out. Oh, oops. Hold on, hold on, what's this say here? So the heart seeking freedom, in, in, this island is a prison, surrounded by water. So this boy sought to escape from this prison. He found a way to cross over into other worlds, and he opened his heart to darkness. That's the thing. You gotta make it wonder who's it talking about. Yeah. Who else is here? I'd imagine that would be Riku, though. Maybe. Let me see what this one says. But yeah, this the crazy part. What's crazy is the part of Anthony's speech where he says, "And so this boy may well be, have been describing a Anthony describing Xehanort in his youth when he was still on Destiny Islands, not necessarily Riku. If anyone knew this, my bad." It just occurred to me. Destiny Islands was the last of the fake worlds you visited in End of the World. And I thought it was always because the main characters of the game were from there. But it may have been mm. where Anthem chose to fight because he had an attachment of sorts to the island from when he was human. You know? Hmm, yeah. There's another one here. Think about it, this whole world was, sort of makes you feel, think of an eerie nightmare or something. Visiting places you've already you've been to before, except they all seem different. Yeah. The music being quite similar to dive to the heart, and so on. The whole place that does feel like it could be a nightmare, you know? I wonder if that's what Square intended. With I can see that. Thing. I can see that actually. Cause like, no matter what you say, this place is eerie. Oh yeah, definitely. Even in this kind of room right now. Yeah. The. Still the same. Even in the the weird and magical land of uh, Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, this is a long one. <clears throat> Let's see. The man who decided to give himself into the darkness did much more than destroy Hollow Bastion. He oh, created yeah. more of what has existed, the Heartless. But there are no artificial Heartless here, just purebreds. The ones that have always existed, but could never leave the realm of darkness. The place where the weak hearts, the envious, and the hateful are reborn. They could never leave, for this was their punishment and, and prison for giving into the darkness. They lie in wait for more people to fall into darkness so they can spread their darkness to the next. The purebred heartless basically gather the defiled, the damned, the weak, the irredeemable around hearts that are of darkness. But since they couldn't get out, they indirectly bring balance to the universe by separating the evil from the realm of light. When the barrier to all worlds were broken by Xen, he made the whole universe unbalanced. Oh, just to... Huh? Oh, there's more. I was just gonna say, just to clarify, the realm of light is like where the actual Disney worlds are and all that. Yeah. Uh... Let's see. The Heartless want to make more Heartless. But they weren't a threat since they were contained and helped get evil in the right place. But when the barriers broke, they were a huge problem. With no cage holding them back, they see carts. To the heart of, King of Keyblade wielders, the worlds, and the people who inhabit them. They just do what they know best, make more of their kind. Yeah. The real problem here was Xanor. This one place represents just how much damage one person can do when you decide to toy and play with the balance of the universe. Yeah. 
Like, when... Is that all the comment is, or is there more? There should be more. I know. I remember there was one, but I think it might. But I don't think I just can see it on this. Hmm. Let, me, let me see if I can find it. All right. All right. Well, yeah. It's like with all the things Zenor has managed to do, it's like I really want to kill that sucker in free. <laughs> yeah. They. I. I don't want anything to come back. I don't want like his own lingering will or whatever. I want him to be dead. Let's we'll see what this says. Here. I'm gonna say this, whether you listen or not, but here's what I always say. Hold on, I gotta... I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep playing the music because it's really fitting. <laughs> to find true peace, one must face his hardest battle in is The one must face his hardest battle is itself, but to conquer ourselves is to fight our evilest traps. Fear, courage, courage, courageless, anger, arrogance, confusion to faithless. If we are to conquer this battle yet, then we can fight our seed, our hearts. To defeat the, the darkness, we must overcome our greatest weakness and walk forward to the undone, the impossible. For one's wish to become real is if one is to walk with the burden of the world, hatred from uh, or of mankind. If we triumph over the darkness, we yet then can see of new Eden, heaven, to walk in the shadow of abandonment, Master ourselves, lead us to our euphoria, happiness. And you know uh, that that thing I said about how uh, there's a lot. I actually, f you can actually fill things with video game music, and it's not just sounds, like I said uh, a while ago. Right. This yeah. This is a perfect example. This is a perfect example there's, of it. There's a reason why all these comments are all poets. Yeah, like with uh, this uh, theme alone, you there's there are so many feelings that come with it. Yeah, you like, like when I first got here in Kingdom Hearts uh, One, I kind of stood there for a moment. Yeah, it's like you don't know what's gonna happen, and it's like just very foreboding and mysterious and creepy. You, it's like you really don't want to come in here. You don't want to be here, but you have to. You, you have, have to. You have to. There's no choice. Like Ansem needs to be in Ansem needs to be stopped. Yeah. Uh check Hyra, there might be chests up there. Uh let me see. It's like Uh-huh. Uh what was it? Um Uh I forgot her name. Um Aqua? No, no, I'm not talking about an actual character in the series. I mean, the composer. Um, Yoko Shinomura. Yeah, like, this... This is, like, some of her best work here. Well, Kingdom Hearts is one of her most well-known franchises for music. Yeah, this and Mario and Luigi. Mario and Luigi for different reasons. Well, yeah, that's a lot more lighthearted and, like, energetic. Even then, you got stuff, like, in the final. Yeah, wait... Mario Luigi is serious when it needs to be, but it rarely ever uh, goes to that level. Right. Okay, maybe there's nothing here. Well, there should be a chest somewhere. Try the first room. Yeah, I I get the feeling they just borrowed this aesthetic from the uh, pot scorpion from the pot centipede fight. Probably. Which is why there's no loads. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. It's odd. Hmm. Well, you we found one treasure. All right, then let's get out of here. But yeah, this is like the revisits to the worlds and stuff is what uh, the main thing that reminds me of Rose Six. But again, it just it does it in a much better way than that game. Mhm. Mm I forget what the music was even like in the end of the world actually. To well, to be fair, in terms of music, uh, it did its for what it needs needed to do. It did its job well enough there. But it's it, not even, I, I still don't remember it. Hmm. It's unmemorable, but it's very. It 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 sounds very desperate. Mm. Well, given how the world was in the oh yeah this, the world was in the it's on the verge of collapse. Also, suddenly we're underwater. Yeah. <laughs> Man, you know, still do, going for all of this. Kind of makes makes me re also reflect on the journey we had. Yeah. Like all the hard times we've been through, like 
all these different kinds of heartless. That's what I love. I I love that about like uh, final levels in games, like when it makes you reflect on everything that's happened. Yeah, it basically can be like demonstrating credits. Yeah. Which is why I love the Mario 64 and Mario World end so much. Oh uh, yeah, I love those. Come on, hit the thing. Maybe. Yay. You've been getting a lot of accessories, haven't you? Yeah. Um, most of them I think are stuff we already have, that's the thing. Hmm. We can check them out later. This reminds me of an old abandoned place that nobody has been to in years. Uh, Almost like a place that has been falling apart, like the wasteland before Kane Mickey visited. The feeling that the world has ended and you just want to murder the douchebag responsible. Yeah, no, tell me about it, it. There's no turning back after that point, and you're fighting to save the world. Really giving it all you've got until you can no longer. The Keyblade Fighting Warrior! Sora! That doesn't work as well. Sora! <laughs> He went fighting warrior. It doesn't. Donald Donald Goofy. Oh, you got no, that's, that's terrible. <laughs> Mega, Tom, Mega Man just works well. So I wish I could read that. <laughs> oh, there is a translation to this. Oh. Oh, saying the time is about to come. Wake up. The door will open soon. He will hold out his hand. I want to say here. I remember when I first played Kingdom Hearts. The end of the world used and frustrating me. I spent half an hour at least in the beginning area not realizing I'll walk off of the island. <laughs> then I was confused by the invisible walls in front of me, which I had no idea why they were even there all the, at the time. I, can I played the game again recently to understand why the invisible walls were there. I can understand that, because I, um, not knowing what's going on, you'd probably think you'd just fall into the ocean or whatever. Yeah, right. This okay. point plays in my head and during when I got prepare for an important date. Huh. Okay. Fly? Uh... No. Nope. It's kind of a interesting comparison. Take a look at the, in, Riku answer. Take a look at this tiny place. So this heart-seeking heart freedom. This island is a prison, surrounded by waters. And so, oh yeah, I, I just said that already. Mm -mm. Oh man. Come on. Don't bother. Your voice can no longer reach him. Oh, oh, we're gonna hear this later. Hmm. Are you sure? Oh, by the way, we're not actually gonna fight Ansem, uh, right now, but. No. No. Uh, did you see the. Uh, it wasn't that open door over there. Did you go in there? I wasn't paying attention at all. Yeah. Okay, I'm very sorry. Okay, hold on. Oh, okay, that's it. And, you know what? Oh, yeah, the second session's been going on for an hour. I think one of these just leads us straight to, uh... 100 Acre Wood? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Hey, don't- hey, hey! No, 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 careful. Oh, hello. Hey, girl, like, sir. Is there anything else? Nope. Nope. There's... Oh, there's a save point here, because it's time. Yeah. There's a boss fight coming up, guys. Ah. This oh, one's one of the more. Oh, fun! I think this boss was. Well, the music is unique, anyways, for the for the uh for, for the original version of this game. It, it, sorry, in the Japanese version of this game, the, the fight coming up, the fight music coming up is actually different. Hmm. Huh. It, it, it just reuses one of the old tracks. Doesn't here, it... it's here. It's actually uh a musical combat. Oh. We're getting there soon, anyways. Well, they have to show off Hollow Bastion. I don't think it's, I don't think it's even this Hollow Bastion. Uh, it's close as close as we're gonna get. Yeah. Definitely not an area we've seen. What's that black portal, Doom? Yeah. Oh. Hmm. The tech points. <laughs> Alright then, let's head into there. Oh, what? Huh. You ever seen this? One born of the heart and darkness, the void of hearts, ravage all worlds and bring the desolation. Seize all hearts and consummate the great heart, or consummate. All hearts to be one. One heart to encompass all. 
Realize the destiny. The realm of kingdom hearts. The great darkness sealed within the great heart. Progeny of darkness. Come back to the eternal darkness. For the heart of light shall unseal the path. Seven hearts. One keyhole. One key to the door. The two in the door of darkness. Tied by two keys. Yep. The door of darkness to seal the light. None shall pass but shadows returning to the darkness. One born of the heart and darkness. Hungry. Hunger for every heart until the door the door bleh, the dark door opens. Oh hi. And out of business. That is kind of interesting though. That little text there? Yeah. Oh, hello. Can you go for that portal over there? Uh it just reads it again, so don't touch it. Hmm? Let's see what see what that does. That on the wall. Kinda scared. Oh nothing. Stop. Okay. okay then. Okay. Hey! It's a heartless emblem, right? <laughs> oh the hole. Hmm? There's a hole. Yeah. Is that oh, anything? We're gonna oh, we should save one more time. Hmm. Let's head back in here and save one more time. Because now it's the boss fight. A really cool fight, too, actually. I gotta say for what it is. Is the, is the from Fantasia? Yep. Right, right. I need to actually properly watch that movie. It's, um... Well, uh, Night on Bald Mountain is scary. <laughs> Alright then, let's step forward. That one way. way. That one. Hang on, I'm gonna get the video. Hold on. Night on Bald Mountain. Here it is. Yep. We pretty much redeem it himself. Yeah. Turnabog. This is Turnabog. Mm-hmm. A really cool cameo fight, I gotta say. Yeah. Now, he, he spends a lot on the fire, I mean, so we can watch it, but, oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Help. Yeah. Look how much damage you're doing to him because you grinded. <laughs> well, it's funny how, like, he has, he seems to have so much health in, uh, what? Dream Drop Distance? Yeah, he seems to have so much health in from Dream Drop Distance, but you just dive into him three times and he's done. It's kind of funny. This guy's actually pretty, uh, t oh. Uh, you may, you, 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 He's yeah. he's really big and, and um, he, he's a bit more bark than bite to be fair. Yeah, pretty but much. That bite does hurt. Yeah. So um, don't underestimate it just because he's stationary. Yep. So stuff like that. You know. Oh, wrong move. Whatever. Fire! Wait. <laughs> Wait. Oh, you're aiming for you're going for Aroga. Yeah. Oh, here comes, I think, here comes one of the heart herder haters. I think it comes on you. I think limited make you invincible. Well, I was just starting on him. Woo! Booyah! Let's finish, let's finish. You're no ice tone, get out of here. You're drunk. Mm -mm. That's the way we need to go. Yeah. Now we got the super glide, which is a little bit too early, too late. Yeah. But um, turn on. Hmm. All super right, glide. right. Um, super glide is exactly glide, but it lets you fly a lot faster. Pretty much. Sorry, self-explanatory. Anything down there? Oh. Oh. Load screen. <laughs> yeah, there's a loading screen down here. 
keep, yeah, you gotta keep going down. I think that I think that little spot up there is the way back. Ah, uh, fair enough. No. You gotta keep going down. If this is uh, these are the rooms uh, I am thinking of, then. Yep, they're in here. 